As you already know, the Energy Framework was made to give you access to open source AI ML tools. In this video, I will show you the first add-on that implements the latest machine learning noise removal in seismic images. And before that, I'd like to share a message from Geoplot AI. If you want to experience GeoSign software that applies the most recent machine learning tools commercially and whose efficiency has been demonstrated on over 100 projects, the link to request a demo is in the description. My name is Ruslan and I'm here to teach you machine learning in oil and gas. And today we'll be using noise to void method to get rid of random noise on seismic. The work we'll be using today is presented on Transform 22 by Software Underground. By the way, you should follow them on GitHub, YouTube and the Slack channel. I promise they will teach you a lot of interesting things about the digital subsurface. Alright, back to the code. This GitHub wrapper that will be integrating into the framework, it is the implementation of a good paper written by Claire and her co-authors. In the video's description you can find links to my video that sums up this paper. In short, this code treats seismic noise removal as a self-supervising technique. That means that we don't need a dataset to train on. Instead, you can use your own data for that. The network learns how to rebuild only useful signals that are coherent in both space and time while filtering out random noise. Let's jump into the GitHub wrapper for this video. The first thing you need to do is to clone the wrapper and activate the environment with the E framework. Put the Python file in the pages directory and other files in the root folder of the framework so that the add-on shows up in the UI. We'll need to install some of the required libraries. You can start the e-framework now by typing the command in your terminal. As our first task, let's get the data from the USGS website and test the add-on if it works correct. You can take for example this field, the link in the description. Yeah, by the way, I need to note here that the current implementation of this ML denoising only works with 2D seismic. We have the segue file and we'll tell the framework where it is. You can see how seismic profile looks and take a glance at the frequency spectrum plot. We see here plenty of general subsurface and random noise. As you may know, if you watch my previous video about the method, the network doesn't clean a whole slice at once. Instead, it cleans up a bit of information at a time. Here we broke the whole picture into 32 by 32 pixel patches. Since it is a self-supervised algorithm, we are required to add random noise to the seismic image here. With pixel-wise corruption, we define a set of pixels that will be changed with corresponding corruption map. Then the network will try to recover them based on the data of the pixels around them. That's interesting with deep learning, that when a network learns to recover the corrupted data, it also learns how to clean out random noise. Here we define a network and some training parameters. You can then play around with them. For this demonstration, let's start with the default ones and going through quick training, it seems like it works fine. Here is the plot of the frequency spectrum. I would like to mention here as well that in the paper the authors also show that impedance inversion achieves better results after ML denoising. After that you can save ML denoise seismic data as numpy or segway file. This video was a bird eye view that simplified a lot and left out some extra information on purpose. I recommend a great 2 hour long tutorial in which the authors explain ML denoising in great details. 